Welcome to this Hockey Inside Out show bonus episode. I'm Stu Cowan of the Gazette. I'm joined by former Canadians teammates Chris Nyland and Rick Green, who both have Stanley Cup rings from 1986, and our analytics guru, Andrew Berkshire. Uh, Canadian season is over, but there's some players who will be going to the World Championship. Captain Nick Suzuki is not one of them. He decided to take a pass on playing for Team Canada. Some people are criticizing him about that. Rick, I believe you played in quite a few of those world championships back in your days in Washington when you weren't in the playoffs. Uh, just your thoughts on Nick saying no and maybe a little bit about your experience playing in that tournament. Well, obviously, it's a personal choice. It's a, it's a long year. Uh, right. You know, you, you throw in the, uh, the all-star week uh, of commitment, which is it's really, you know, not my idea of uh, what they should be doing for the, for these guys. Um, but look, I, I was over there four times uh, in different parts of the, of the world. Uh, playing with a lot of different guys. It, it's a fun experience. Uh, there's not, obviously, there's no pressure really involved because it is, uh, it's, it's a fun tournament. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it, it'd be a chance to play a, a little bit longer, which, you know, in Washington, our season was done by February. So I had, uh, I had you know, plenty of time to decide on whether I was going or not. But I think it's it's fun. Like I said that you you like the the interaction. You like the uh, the you know, opportunity to play some more, play against some some pretty good players, and to uh, to travel the world and experience uh, different parts of the world. So uh, I can understand some guys. Uh, you know, it's not really a big thing for a lot of guys. Maybe they're nursing some injuries that we don't know about. They want rather not take a chance of. Um, extending uh, some of their injury versus, uh, you know, taking care of it right away. But uh, uh, anyways, a, a personal choice. And, uh, you know, Nick Suzuki decided that he'd rather stay home. And, you know, that's obviously his, uh, his, his call. Knuckles, I believe you've got to know Nick a little bit, right? What do you think about uh, his decision? I have a problem with that. You know, if he, whatever his reasons are, uh, that's his personal choice. And listen, I love playing for my country. It was absolutely <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah, I just actually found this jersey. Uh, it's been lost for a long time, and I, I found out where it was, and someone just mailed it to me, um, uh, which is awesome. But um, listen, I wanted to play so bad in Stockholm in the World Championships when I was with the Rangers. The one year I missed the playoffs, and I hurt my knee. Um, and I was trying to do everything for them to take me. I wanted to go to Stockholm and woo, body up the phone. But I would have loved to have played for them. I did in the Canada Cup, and it was just a great experience for me. Um, I actually had a good tournament personally, you know. And um, the the you know this World Championships, I get it. It's really a big thing over in Europe, more so probably than than over here, but. Um, yeah, again, guys have their personal reasons for not wanting to go. You don't know if he's worn down. You don't know if he's nursing an injury. And, um, yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. Good for him. Focus on your position here with the Habs moving forward. Um, I think this kid certainly got a good head in his shoulders. And uh, whatever decision he makes, as far as that concerns, I think is a good one because it's for him. Knuckles, was it Mike Milbury who picked you for that Team USA team? No, um, Badger Bob, Bob Johnson. Badger Bob. Yeah, Bob he Johnson. picked me what over did, Brett Hall because – Over – Yeah. You don't tease Hall about that, do you? Better hands. I, here's the deal. And, and Brett Hall actually had some smart-ass thing to say about me um, when Bob, Bob kept me. But the reason why they didn't keep him, because he was a fat – he was he was overweight and out of shape. And Bob Bob told him to get in shape uh, because he had him in Calgary, right? That's why he got shipped out of Calgary. He wasn't taking it serious. He was fat. He was overweight. 
and he didn't deserve to be there. I end up, I end up with two goals and one assist in five games there. Okay, for a plumber, hello. Uh, so so Brett didn't get in um, to play that that year, and he didn't deserve to be there. But uh, Badger mm-hmm. Bob certainly. He had guys like myself, Joel Otto. L- listen, Canada was was a certainly a tough out. They were stacked, Gretzky, Lemieux, uh, but they had some toughness there. Wendell Clark had a few guys that could handle themselves, and we needed to be able to counter that uh, and and you know play a hard game against Canada. I mean, they beat us. They were just head and shoulders above us talent wise. But um, yeah, you need character on teams to win too. So not just you know, fat goal scorers. <laughs> <laughs> Who were your line mates there, Knuckles? Uh, Bob Brook uh, and Kurt Frazier. All right. All right. So, Andrew, just your thoughts on uh, on Nick Suzuki deciding. In, uh, and as you mentioned, Rick, I mean, he didn't get a break during the All-Star game. He didn't get a break in the All-Star game last year. He hasn't missed a game since coming into the NHL. Um, you know, the you don't play 82 games. You two guys know this. You don't play 82 games in the NHL without playing through some kind of injuries, right? Or some kind of pain. There's also a couple of weeks break before the world championships start. And then you got to gear it up. So, I mean, I, I understand why he wouldn't want to go or, or why he cho- I don't think he didn't want to go. He just chose not to go. And I think you're right, Knuckles. I think his priority is getting ready for next season as captain of the Canadians. Andrew, just your thoughts. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think especially as captain, you have a certain amount of responsibility, right? And you mentioned he's never missed a game since making the NHL. He's played 405 straight games, including the playoffs, 373 in the regular season, more than anyone else since he entered the league, which is crazy because, you know, you're entering as a rookie. Over that time period, he's fifth among forwards in total ice time with 7,308 minutes. And that's, you know, he's going to climb up there if you – cut it down to after that uh, Stanley cup run, because he's been everything for the Canadians. He's been fourth over the last three seasons in the whole uh, NHL among forwards and ice time. So he has a lot to do and it's not like he's playing easy minutes either. He's constantly playing top competition. Uh, Only this year has he had like a full line that works together uh, for an actual big stretch in the season. Usually he's dealing with, injured line mates or replacement line mates like a couple seasons ago he was ending the season with rem pitlick and uh rafael harvey pinard on his line so some consistency for him while he's been the most consistent guy has resulted in a huge big step forward for him as a player this season and i think it's entirely reasonable that he's focused on continuing that next season instead of going to the world championships at some point he's got to need a rest. I know he's a young kid, but man, he plays so much. Yeah. And he plays, there are hard, hard minutes that he, that he plays also. They're not, uh, you know, he's playing against the other team's top line every game. And, you know, Rick, as you mentioned, it's not, it's not really a world championship, right? It's a glorified sort of exhibition tour. It's not the best in the world playing against each other. So, Anyway, Nick deserves a break, and if he wanted to take a break, good for him. I know uh, Cole Caulfield's going to go play for Team USA, so that'll be fun to watch. Uh, U.S. Slavkovsky's going to go play for Slovakia. That'll be fun to watch. Mike Matheson also took a pass because his wife is pregnant and is going to give birth to their second child right around the time of the World Championship. So uh, congratulations to him and his family. Um, so at least it'll be a little bit of hockey for us to watch at the World Championship if it's not Nick Suzuki. Um, so that's it for this HIO Show bonus episode. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. Go to MontrealGazette.com slash newsletters to sign up for the Hockey Inside Out newsletter. And of course, go to HockeyInsideOut.com every day where we'll have all the latest news during the offseason.